Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whichever the case may be for you. My name is Keith Lampe. I also sometimes use the name Ponderosa Pine and also sometimes the name Ronunciate. I'm here to begin a series called The Copenhagen Fraud, and we'll be focusing every couple of days between now and the conference in Copenhagen to bring you the news of what a farce or fraud it in fact is. There are several elements to the fraud, one being that it has already been determined that the result of the conference will have only a slightly corrective effect for the current climate destabilization tendencies, but that this slight benefit will be spun in the obedient corporate media to make it seem like we have made some decent progress. The same thing happened at the uh, environmental summit in Rio in 1992. That was also an absolute fraud. If you recall, uh, the result of the conference was spun in a manner to make people think that finally something was being done about the climate crisis. But if you want to check on the glaciation levels in 1992 when the conference took place and glaciation levels now, you'll find that the conference was a fraud. And it has already been predetermined in Copenhagen that it will be a sequel to Rio. Now another element of fraud is that among the protesters outside the conference in the streets of Copenhagen, an appallingly high percentage of them will be fake protesters. They will actually be shills of the Rockefeller brothers who last March put up $100,000 uh, so that uh, a group called 350.org led by a chap named Bill McKibben uh, would distract attention from any serious protesters who were suggesting a response to the emergency which might lower Rockefeller's obscenely huge petroleum profits. So these people will be out there pretending to protest while actually protecting the huge Rockefeller family fortune. Their leader, Bill McKibben, is on record as saying recently in a magazine piece, I'll always be out there knocking on doors for him. Him being, of course, the current notorious U.S. President Barack Obama. I don't think Bill actually means always. He means he'll be out there knocking on doors for Obama as long as the Rockefeller brothers want him to. But if the Rockefeller brothers decide that someone else can be a better shill for them than Obama, then Bill will start knocking on doors for whomever the Rockefellers select next. But within all this not very pleasant news, there is a positive development. Just recently I learned of a more serious group of climate activists who are doing an occasion next Monday, November 30th, called a Global Day of Action for Climate Justice. This group is led by a chap named David Solnit, and they're quite serious. They're calling for, quote, mass resistance to the U.S. government and corporate capitalism's obstructive and false solutions, end quote. And they're suggesting that people who want to join uh, this protest focus on one or more of six carefully chosen corporations who are right now the major culprits in the obstruction of any sort of adequate response. Those corporations are Bank of America, J.P. Morgan Chase, Morgan Stanley, Chevron, British Petroleum, and American Electric Power. So I would urge you to get out there with these people uh, next Monday. There'll be demonstrations occurring in Seattle, San Francisco, Chicago, Boston, New York, three different locations in Maine, and also in Burlington, Vermont. Uh, you can reach their website by going to act 
for climatejustice.org. And I certainly would urge you to get out there because these people are relatively serious about what they're doing and maybe they can make a difference in Copenhagen, although the chances of that are not very good given how tightly controlled the conference is from the inside. So we'll be back at you later with more developments as they come in. And meanwhile, do check out actforclimatejustice.org. Okay, thanks very much for today.